What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to make an IP, lo local IP address finder. So name it local IP finder and just click enter. I already was already making one and it actually works pretty well. So yeah. Alright, next you want to go to click form, change the text to local IP finder okay and you want to place a couple things first of all you want to place a text box a text box you also want to place a button and you want to place a windsock which sorry about that let's see real one sock and I'll include it this um, download link in the description where you can download this and I'll show you in a second how to put it in after I fix this a little bit and then change the text to get IP and also on the text box you want to make the text align centered Next, you want to make this a little bit smaller. Okay, so first of all, for the windsock to get it to insert it into the toolbox, you have to right click up here, click choose items, and I'll be right, you know, and click com components, and click browse. It might take you a while to load it on your first time, so. And then what you want to do is you want to go to where your you had your DLL. So go to downloads, for instance. Then you want to go to um. Uh, wait a second. Winsock control. This I'll include this download in the description. And it should be a DLL file. And you just click that. Click o highlight or double click it. Click open and and then check it off. And it should be checked off automatically though. But whatever. Click OK. And then, yeah, that, that's all you need to do. Now I double click the button. And, okay, so now it should be the code is going to be text box one dot text. Oh, there we go. Equals when sock one dot local IP. That's all there is to it. Um,. Here I'm going to run it right now. And if I say get IP, that's my IP address. There we go. That's my little tutorial on how to get your local IP address through Visual Basic 2010. Have a nice day and bye.